Let's move to some heavy shit. Is that okay? Are you guys yeah. Yeah. feeling it? All right. Let's talk about war. Uh, I don't have a transition for that. I told you. This is like new shit that, I'm, that I've been working on. So like there's no way to make this work right now. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll think about it at the end of the show. I, I don't think uh, I think what we need right now is uh, is a true anti-war movement globally speaking. I think we need a true anti-war movement. We don't have one, right? Uh, when I was in India, uh, we almost went to war with Pakistan. <laughs> Do you guys hear about it? Did you? Yeah. There's four people that heard about it. Holy fuck! Yeah. I was there. You were there? Oh, how when did you go to India last? The end of February. No shit. Me, I was there at the end of February. That's crazy. Yeah, that was nuts, right? But here, here's the thing. Let me give you a little breakdown about what happened, right? Uh, there was a terrorist organization called GEM. They attacked 40 Indian troops. Uh, a bunch of people died, and uh, this escalated this whole conflict. Everybody was freaking out. It's the first uh, terror attack in India in like 60 years, something like that. Um, or it might be 16 years. It's been a while since there was a... <laughs> I can't remember the exact six. number. <laughs> six, six, six. It's been a little while, you know. Like I feel like America kind of gets desensitized. They're like another school shooting. I guess it must be Tuesday. <laughs> That's basically what we're doing here, isn't it? It's like, like India was like there might have been a terror attack. Everybody show up to Congress. Like that's basically what happened. And there was this whole big thing where they were trying to get Pakistan to say that they were responsible for. And Pakistan was like, we're not responsible for it. They just camp out in our country. And everybody's like, well, maybe you should do something about it. And they're like, listen, I, we don't want to. Like, that's kind of the excuse. <laughs> like, they weren't really saying anything about it. And my wife and I were watching this thing, right? And they were just like, everybody was like, boycott Pakistan. And there was one guy, one, well, his name was Sidhu, right? He's a, a Punjabi guy. And he was basically like, we can't do that. Uh, look, uh, we have to talk about terrorism, not boycotting Pakistan. We can't divide each other. We should come together, create a coalition to fight against this group that is creating problems for everybody, right? Muslims don't want them to represent this. Hindus don't want to con constantly keep fighting this. We should come together, right? And everybody was like, fuck this guy, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like, everybody, like, he got fired from the one TV show that he get to, got to be on, <laughs> right? Like, they were just like, get rid of it. Like, that, that's what happened. So this escalated, and uh, India uh, decided to send a um, airstrike into Pakistan, right? And they were like, "We got him! We fucking nailed it!" Right? They did the whole George Bush mission accomplished thing, uh, which, much like the George Bush mission accomplished thing, didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we were reading this, and we were just like, wait, what the fuck just happened? And then Pakistan came out and was just like, you guys didn't hit anything. You just fired on, like, a bunch of tree lines is what you did. <laughs> and India's like, nah, we got it. Okay. <laughs> we got photographic evidence that we got them. And Pakistan's like, prove it. Which is like, come on, Pakistan. You don't say it like that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So they were like, here's some grainy footage of us hitting some... See those dots? That's them. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and the whole world's like, maybe that's an ultrasound. We're not really sure what the fuck is This is really weird, right? <laughs> so maybe they hit them, maybe they didn't. But what Pakistan did in retaliation is that they shot down two Indian air airplanes... And then, and then took an Indian Air Force pilot hostage for like 48 hours. And on the same day they did this, the Prime Minister of Pakistan is like, look, we're looking for peace. <laughs> and it's like, what the? You guys got a weird definition of peace. Okay, it's, guys, peace does not involve shooting down the opposition's planes. And they're like, look, Maybe you don't understand our culture, okay? And everybody's like, we do, what is happening right now, right? So, like, we're all reading this. And then 48 hours later, they release the Air Force pilot. But for, like, 48 hours, everybody was like, are we going to war? <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now? Nobody's saying anything. There's a prime minister that's like, we're talking about peace, but also we have this prisoner of war. It's like, there's so many things wrong with that sentence. <laughs> And now there's an election, which is maybe why this whole thing happened. 
Who knows? Look, my point is, none of this would have happened if we had a legitimate anti-war movement across the world, right? Like, if, I don't know. I feel like a lot of this shit would have been exposed. I don't think it would have escalated as much as it did. All of this, by the way, happened in a matter of three weeks. <laughs> In three weeks, we went to, there was a terrorist attack. Somebody should do it, something about it. We bombed some maybe tree lines. Here's an Indian pilot that got kidnapped by the opposition country. We might be going to war. And it was a whole bevy of emotions in three weeks. And the only thing, I'm not one for like shitting on other comedians, but the only, the only news source in America that was even remotely covering it was The Daily Show, and Trevor Noah just made a racist joke that everybody freaked out about. Like, that was the way America was finding out that India might be going to war with Pakistan. <laughs> like, it's crazy. We don't, though. I, I, don't, I don't think on a global scale we have a le legitimate anti-war movement, right? I think our current anti-war movement, globally speaking, uh, is basically, I don't like war, but, like, that's... <laughs> That's like saying, like, I know I don't want to hang out with your ex-boyfriend, but he's got some great Dave Matthews Band tickets, which is... <laughs> there's a fucking problem, isn't it? <laughs> and you're supporting war, so it's... <laughs> Dave Matthews and war. You need less of it. You need less of it. 